Now that we've seen conditionals, we can talk about this kind of odd topic, truthiness and falsiness, or truthy and falsy values. All that this is, is that every value in JavaScript has an inherent truthiness or falsiness about it. It doesn't mean it is truth, or true, or it is false. There's only two values, true and false, that are actually true and false. Those are the Booleans, but every value has a truthy or falsiness to it. Now let me show you what I mean. If we were to write a conditional, like if, let's make a variable called mystery. Let's do let mystery equals five. And then we'll add a conditional of if mystery, just mystery, not mystery equals anything, just if mystery will console.log truthy. And then else we can console.log falsy. I'm not sure if falsy is spelled like that or that. It's not really the technical term. But anyway, we are just checking this single condition. If mystery, which is right now set to five, if that is truthy, this would print. If it's not truthy, meaning it's falsy, this would print. Let's see what we get. We get truthy. So the number five is a truthy value. In fact, every number that you could possibly choose except for zero is truthy. You can see zero is falsy. The only caveat to that is not a number, which we've seen a couple times. That is also falsy. So something like zero divided by zero is going to give us not a number. I'm refreshing and we still see falsy. Almost every single value in JavaScript is truthy, except for these right here. So the actual value of false, of course, is falsy. Zero, as we just saw, is falsy. Empty string. So there's no space in there. It's just an empty string like this. That is falsy. Null, undefined, and not a number. Everything else, excluding these, everything else is truthy. Now, why does this matter? Why should you really care? It's not just a, a little piece of trivia to know. Often you'll see people use this strategy if some variable do something. Not mystery, but something like this. If, let's say, current user or logged in user, then console.log something like you are logged in. Else console.log please log in. Okay, so something like this is pretty common. Maybe not console.logging, but displaying a certain page, showing the sign in button versus the sign out button. We're just checking if a variable is truthy. So if we define let logged in user, and it's set to, I don't know, Thomas123, we're going to see you are logged in. But if it is not set to anything, like undefined, please logged in, please log in, or if it's set to null, which would be another option, please log in. Same thing if we had a string for somebody's name, username, we could write if username. And if that username is still an empty string, then that code would not run. If it was anything else in that string, it would run. So this is just a small side topic, but you will see this pretty frequently, checking for a value. We're not checking to see if it's equal to something in particular. We're seeing if it's truthy, which usually is a way of checking if something has content, if it exists, if it's not null, undefined, zero, false, empty string, or not a number. Anything else will pass this condition.